and I'm a rising senior at Wellesley studying media arts and sciences and minoring in psychology. And today I'm going to show you a day in the life as a UI UX year op at the MIT Media Lab. Okay, so first I made a little visual just giving context for what the Media Lab is and how I got here. So in my junior year, um, I knew that I was interested in UI UX design and I wanted to gain more experience. So for those who don't know, Wellesley students can cross-register for undergraduate research opportunities, or EUROPS, at MIT. And these are mostly faculty or graduate student-led research projects that are seeking help or assistance from undergraduates. The Media Lab is an interdisciplinary research lab at MIT with designers, engineers, artists, and scientists who innovate technologies and experiences. There are many, many labs within the Media Lab, but I'm currently working with the Lab for Social Machines. I found a posting for a project called Learning Loops, and they were basically looking for someone to help design and build a website, so I thought that was perfect for me. My specific role was to help design and develop an online guidebook to help onboard new coaches and tutors in the program. So that semester, I ended up learning a lot about UI UX design, web development, and also picked up Adobe XD and Squarespace knowledge. In the spring, I continued with another project with Learning Loops, and that semester I learned more about user research, app design, and also sketch and envision. In April, I knew that I wanted to continue learning about UI UX, so my supervisor kindly referred me to another project in the same lab called The Pulse. What The Pulse does is use Twitter data to track public health related conversations um, and misinformation, particularly around COVID-19. All right, now I will go back to the video. So I thought I'd share a little bit about how I structure my day. So I wake up around 9ish, eat breakfast, get ready, and then start working at around 10. So for the most part, my work is super independent and I don't have a ton of meetings. The only meetings that I have are um, meetings twice a week with my supervisor and then some several other scattered group meetings. So here are some of the tools that I use. Um, the first one is Todoist, and I like to set um, daily, weekly, short-term, and longer-term goals for myself so that I know what I need to do on a given day, and I know also what's coming up. And then the other tool that I use, which I think a lot of people use, is Google Calendar. Um, so as I said, I have all I don't have a ton of meetings and most of my day is pretty up to me as to how I want to structure it. So what I do to prevent myself from <laughs> procrastinating is I divide my day up into three work sessions, one in the morning, one after lunch, and then one in the evening because I find that I'm most productive in the evening. Today was a relatively exciting day because I got to participate in one of the engineering meetings and present um, the mock-ups that my supervisor and I have been working on. So I did not film that, but I can share some of the slides right now. So one interesting thing that I'm learning is designing with engineers in mind. So for example, our final product will likely have many components that will take a long time to code. So the engineers can't code like everything at once and instead they do things in sprints or like stages. So my role as a designer op is to design for those specific sprints or stages. So today I was presenting like a 
relatively simple layout for the first sprint, and then also a slightly more complex um, layout for the second sprint. Because um, it now has the, um, the Matt O'Hannity thing. So here's a little bit of what I've been working on. Um, the tool that I'm using is Figma, which is a collaborative design document that multiple users can edit at the same time. So it's great for teams. So at the beginning of the summer, I was largely working on product research. So looking at similar tools and data visualizers that would help inform our design for the um, infodemic geo tracker. So after the product research, I was doing brainstorming for our product and how it might look like. My supervisor was doing most of the user research. So she was talking to journalists and public health officials to see like what what exactly the need was for this product. So based on that research, I was doing a series of brainstorming and going back and forth um, between, with my supervisor for feedback and critique. Currently, it is the afternoon and I think I'm going to do some product research um, specifically for Google Analytics. And then I think I'm gonna start working on a mood board and visual design. So it's currently later in the day now, and usually what I do around this time is finish up what I didn't finish during the day, or relax, or work on side projects. So yeah, overall I really enjoy working at the Media Lab, and if anyone has any questions or wants to talk, feel free to reach out to me. And thank you for watching this video.